Yeah, and a final topic. Looks like the NFL has finally agreed on some new rules. One of the new rules they said is there's no more hip tackle, no more hip drop tackles. Hip drop tackles where you grab by the where low up, where you grab by the hips and you guess you wiggle and you pull them, you drop all your weight to your knees. Yeah, basically what it is, it's like when guys are trying to catch him from behind and say it's someone that's a power runner. Instead of trying to like tackle them and really bring them down, what they do is they wrap their their hands around their hips and they just drop all their way back to basically bring them down. And it's really dangerous because a lot of players, when they get tackled like this, fall on their legs. They either tear their their knee or tear up their ankle by falling on their own legs. Mm -hmm. And I actually was uh, someone that was all for it. You know, I don't think you should be able to horse collar and I don't think you should be able to hip drop tackle. You'd be able to tackle like a normal person. I don't know why people like J.J. Watt are saying just fast forward to belts with flags on them. I understand, man. I agree with a lot of that. They've been softening up the game. I think that some things should be loosened up, but this is actually one thing that I'm 100% for because uh, last past season, if you've been watching us on uh, TFTC football coverage, uh, we've been covering a bunch of football, and we saw a whole bunch of players that were top-tier players, Pro Bowl players, go down with injury because guys couldn't tackle them for real. So they would just do these hip drop tackles where they're basically dead weight and pulling them back on their legs. And so many guys got injured. So uh, I actually 100% agree with this. And a lot of people thought that the tush push should be eliminated, the Eagles uh, pet play. But uh, executives said that there will not be any proposal and that there's really no issue with that. So congrats on the Eagles. You're going to be a tush pushing, uh, you know, hopefully uh, back into the playoffs. Yeah, and I mean with this whole situation, a lot of people, some people were complaining that. I mean, so basically what you're saying is the NFL just wants you to score a whole bunch of points, and once you give the ball to the running back, and once he passes the defensive line and the linebackers, ain't no, ain't no corner, no cornerback can stop him. No cornerback's gonna be able to stop it's him just, because it, no, but it's just like you got to tackle him correctly. Like if you're chasing him down, you could tackle him from the back, like tackle their back and like tackle them forward to where they fall down, or you know, you know, tackle them and wrestle them down. But there was so many little guys trying to tackle running backs but how you where the running backs is like push them off to the side and they're still holding on and they just drop all their weight back. I wish there was a better way to do it, man. But that's literally like how so many dudes got their knees messed up this so past how you, season. How do you expect Joy it, it, it became like an, an epidemic, man, Like of like so many people doing that because they're like, oh, i seen this guy do it, and he brings people down, and I never have to worry about missing a so, tackle anymore because I could do this cheap little BS where I grab them and put all my body weight and pull them on, pull on their back legs. Like, nah, that ain't cool, man. Learn how to tackle, tackle correctly. I definitely understand the NFL has been soft with other rules, but I'm 100% behind banning the the hip drop tackle, man. And the thing with the hip drop tackle, they're saying, like, it's no it's – no, it's no – it's not a hundred percent. Like it's just like you can when, tell, dude, because you can tell like when a guy hits someone and he just wraps up and then like drops all his weight. Uh huh. I mean, you can see that, but sometimes you can, you can literally tell. Just like when a horse collar, when you see someone grab them by the back of their shoulder pads uh -huh. and pull, and they go like that, you can see that. It's like seeing a helmet to helmet. You could. It's pretty easy to me. I don't know how the NFL refs are just as trash as NBA refs. If they'll be able to make the difference, we might get some bogus calls on that. Yeah, that might happen. But like with, with if the this saves a handful, the handful of players, uh, you know, knees, I'm all for it. I do think that they need to change some stuff on the quarterback because they definitely baby him too much. Exactly. They I mean, it's football, man. But this, this pulling someone back on their legs, that's a high risk tackle. So that's just the only reason I'm behind it. So how are you expecting to tackle Derrick Henry? How is Joey Porter going to tackle Derrick Henry when he's coming down? Well, that's like what DBs usually do. That's why they call them ankle biters. They don't call them hip bi uh, hip biters. You, 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 it's almost like a soccer, you know, where they side tackle someone. Uh -huh. You tackle someone's legs and get them down. Because if you get their legs tripped up and turn their legs, they're just going to fall down. But they're not going to snap their knees or snap their ankle. With these hip drop tackles where you're running full speed and then you fall backwards on your leg in an awkward position. True. That's just a huge opportunity for major injury. They did, and they did say yeah, I, that actually happened to me in one of my high school games. What? We had three running backs hurt in the same game, and it was all off of hip drop tackles. Mm. So, like, yeah, I don't like that. I got, comment down below how you feel about the hip drop tackles and the rules, the other rules that have passed and not passed in the NFL. They still haven't decided on the extras, uh, the extra game in the season. 
Yeah. They also, I don't think they need to add any more games. But just so y'all know, I'm against a lot of the other rules. This is like just one of like the, the rules tush push? for. I mean, no. I mean, that's fine. I don't think there's any too much with that. Also, they're talking Sometimes about changing. You gotta push the tush. So also, they're talking about changing the kickoff return rule. Uh, nah, man, make it more need, XFL they need, like. They need to go back. They need to go back to the original kickoff and let just guys like that's the kamikaze part of the game. Yeah, they saying I always liked it because I was I wasn't on kickoff, so I was just like, "Go guys, go go take each other's heads off running full speed." Yeah, they are saying like, "Is there gonna be no more touchbacks?" When uh, I mean, unless the ball goes out it of bounds, it already is like that in the NFL with the moving it up. It's like half the time they kick it out the end zone, so they just sure. start at yeah. the. What did they move it to the twenty five? To twenty five thirty to the twenty five no, or thirty. It's twenty five. I'm pretty sure. I think now they can say, yeah, yeah, they haven't passed the rule yet. I thought it was 20 at first, and now it's 25. So yeah, so I mean, it's a lot of things changing in the NFL. We're gonna see how it goes. I mean, uh, but it's still time, maybe in the quarterbacks. If you're watching TFTC clips, to so go over to Tales from the Crib and hit the subscribe button so you can get the podcast in full early before it comes out in the clipped out form on TFTC clips. So go to Tales from the Crib, like, comment, subscribe, where you get the full podcast way before. You get it here on TFTC Clips. And uh, check out all of our other channels. But it's time to get to the rear 